Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Virtu Toy Channel. Uh, this time around, I want to share with you the recent release from Era Car, their new uh, casting, the Toyota Hi Ace. Um, so very quickly, they came out with uh, five um, different variants for this um, casting, and uh, um, so what you see right here is is all the five already. Okay, so and uh, I've already unboxed all of them actually we uh, right now at the moment we do a lot of live unboxing for new arrivals uh, over at Facebook on Facebook uh, collectors cube that's Q U B E so do look us up on Facebook and uh, um, remember to head spec that like button uh, because that helps us out a lot on the YouTube algorithms okay so uh, without wasting time let's go straight to it so you would have noticed right now that I've already unboxed most of it um, so the, the packaging is uh, pretty straightforward it's a box uh, as usual the era box with the uh, the blister inside to hold the car okay and um, it's just that the Japan police version uh, it has the big bigger size box um, pretty much the double of the uh, regular box okay because of the uh, the siren and stuff so we will we will get to that later so right now what I have in front of me this one would be the Macau fire van okay so I do quite like um, because the era has been quite focused on um, util utilitarian um, um, vans and uh, this is this is one of their latest I think it's quite nice um, but I do kind of feel sometimes it's a little bit overkill uh, because quite a few of them looks very similar uh, but uh, it's 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 also you know for for collectors um, to be able to choose what they want and they don't have to go after everything, all right. So overall, the casting is actually quite nice. It's just a bit a bit unfortunate. Uh, the one I open here has the brake lights that came off. Um, I have already kept it in the box itself. So yeah, it's it's glued on. So it's interesting to see that this piece right. It's a separate piece. That's why it looks quite realistic. Okay, so I just need to glue it back on, um, which I haven't done so. So this one has the number plate as well, and um, we'll we'll take a look at the, the plain color. Then I can show you the side mirror and stuff. So that's the Macau Fire Van, and then this one would be the Hong Kong Fire Van number uh, code is F eight seven nine. It is very nice that they do a lot of different variants at one go. So um, for for van collectors, right? You don't yeah for van collectors, you know maybe you wanna go you wanna go after all. But uh, if you're not exactly a van collector or, or emergency um, vehicle collector, you know, you, you can be a little bit more specific. You know, you just want a regular fire van, you can go, go for the Macau, or you want something with a siren. Um, okay, we can go for this Hong Kong uh, van. Okay, so the siren is at the back. Okay, this one has the opening part, uh, which is at the back. Okay, M at the back it's empty. Alright, so you can actually, uh, yeah, pretty much based on 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 the real um goods uh kind of um high ace okay so you can close that and i do quite like they have this detail as well it's covered at the back the back window the back panel is covered um this one comes with that mesh with that grill okay this is printed on it's printed on that's nice okay and then um that's the hong kong fire van and this is the black all right so i do quite like that they made this um as far as i know the only other company that that does this right together with side mirrors would be tlvn okay but they ask is like crazy fragile i've uh and and most of the time they want you to install it um i think pico pico the tow truck has the side mirror but not exactly a front mirror like that this is actually very classic and very convenient and very convenient as well i've driven a van um um, with this mirror and with that back mirror as well um, this was <laughs> this is basically the pretty much before the rear camera and the front camera all came along so these mirrors right are actually very very effective um, as long as they are in the right angle they are really very effective to to be able to you know um, using the the rear mirror then you look at, you will be able to see this mirror and then uh, um, and, and be able to adjust and 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 to to the distance when you want to reverse or you want to park the van. So this is actually very useful, and this is actually to to see um, the front part. Okay, so basically you can actually park park the van right in front of your knees. 
Okay, so I do quite like these these mirrors uh, detail that Era has included. Um, so same thing. This is not this this is more of a pass, uh, a goods van. That's why it has it has that covered panel at the back, and the seats are uh, only one layer of uh, passenger seats at the back. Okay, so in the front you can see the headlamps. It's a separate piece, uh, printed on I guess it's printed and they they cover it with that plastic you know that the construction that um which you saw on the Macau Vive Fire Van earlier. Okay, which makes it. A little bit more realistic okay I think it's I think it's fine given the price point uh, around the price of uh, mini GT slightly more expensive than mini GT with the opening parts but uh, their price point is pretty much um, in the range of mini GTs okay so the front bumper is a separate piece uh, this is I believe it's uh, plastic okay the back bumper as well I'm guessing this gives them an option to change their bumper details if they want to later on okay so it's riveted with a single um, screw not much details going on underneath which I am fine with that I don't mind that uh, uh, if if only right if only it came with a, a sliding door I think I think that that would be even that would be that would be a crazy bonus that was that would be something that I would really like so that's the black and then we have the white. So the white has the opening window at the back. Okay, no passenger seats. Anyway, it's still a good uh, type of van. Okay. QC wise, I think they are only okay. Um, the one, the white that I have here, right? I think black is not that obvious. Uh, I don't see any major problem, but there is a bleep here. Uh, I don't see really any other major issues. It is, it is feel it feels a little bit oily though. Uh, I'm guessing it's to protect the paint from the blister as well. Otherwise, it will have um, the, the 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 blistering on the paint. I'm guess I'm just make, taking a guess. So on the white right, we can see a little bit more of a QC issue that's going on. See over here, there's a little bit of an issue. Um, where else? Oh yeah, on the wheels as well, on the wheels. So they did not remove this from the mold properly. I guess that's some that's some extra extra plastic on the rims. So that's why you don't get you don't get a round, you don't get a circle circular uh, wheels. Uh, it is a bit of a shame. Okay, the door opens perfectly. Okay. Overall, it's still quite quite a nice uh, casting. Overall, it's still quite a nice casting. Uh, something different from uh, the one that I have seen from BM. Uh, that one, I think it's. Uh, uh, I don't have I don't have a display unit uh, with me offhand. If you want to take a look at if you want if you want to check that out, right? Um, the BM Creation version of the High Ace. Do let me know in the comment section below. Okay. If you if you have any other cars that you want to see. Um, I see if I if I have it and then I'll try to showcase to you because uh, I don't showcase all cars that I, I receive nowadays uh, due to time constraint so this one right uh, let's see we can see there's slight difference with the front bumper and front grille as well okay so it's different with um, compared to the emergency vehicles so far with the fire vents okay so the front bumper is different, the front grille is different. Let's see the back bumper. The back bumper looks, um, I think it's the same. I think it's the same. So the fifth variant would be the Japan police van. I think this is actually very nice. It really reassemble um, the real thing. <laughs> the huge ass siren uh, in front and, and, and at the back here. This one, right, uh, do let me know how, how does this function, okay? I'm gonna make a guess. Uh, I'm gonna make a guess. I think this is actually a display um, telling you know emergency messages at the back here. All right, I I, I am taking a guess. Uh, please do let me know in the comment section below, okay? If you do know what what uh, does this do in real life, okay? So the side mirror has has the reflective detail there, okay? That's nice. The printing here is nice, crisp, sharp. 
Okay, the logo of the uh, Japan Police Force in the middle. Okay, that's all right. So the grill, the grill, and the bumper follows the the normal um, passenger version, the goods version. Dashboard, I think it's pretty much uh, all in black. You can see a little bit of the uh, the console, the dash. Um, the shape is there, but I don't see any further details. The steering wheel is there as well, but I don't see any further details. So the mirrors are complete. I have a mirror at the back here as well, but this one looks a bit odd. That's sticking, almost like it's sticking on the <laughs> on the back windscreen. I think it's supposed to be a little bit further out. Uh, I do hope that ERA improve on their QC though. Uh, okay, there we can keep this open. I think out of the five, I think this would be my favorite. I'm not sure if any other brand has, has made this high ace um, police because I personally I don't uh, exactly collect uh, you, uh, emergency vehicles yeah so hmm. overall it's still a, quite a nice casting uh, I do do hope um, and I, I do I, I do believe they will be coming up with a few more variants um, judging how era works so let's see Let's see. Cool. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. If you're looking for eyes, something to consider. Alright, so uh, that's it for this time around. Um, remember to look us up on Facebook. That's where I spend most of my days um, doing Facebook Live. Uh, we do live unboxing and also sales. And then um, do hit the like button. And do smack the subscribe button as well and hit the bell button so that you don't miss off any on my other diecast videos. Um, so that's it for this time around. Thank you so much for watching guys. Take care. Bye.